Okay, so you want to subtract two dates in Excel. I'm going to show you how to do that, working out how many days between two dates, how many months between two dates, and how many years between two dates. You could also work out the total number of years, months, and days between two dates. So the difference here is that this month's figure here tells us that there are 43 months between these two dates. In this calculation, most of that difference is accounted for by the number of years, so three years and seven months. I'll also show you how to concatenate or join these calculations together into one text string. Okay, so let's start with calculating the number of days. This is nice and easy. All you have to do is type equals the end date minus the start date. Now, if I made the start and end date the same day, you can see that it returns zero. Now, actually, if you start a job on the 4th of May and end it on the 4th of May, you've worked one day. So you might consider putting plus one at the end of your calculation. That's if you want to be inclusive of the start and end date. Just put this date back to a later date. Now to calculate the total number of months between two dates, use the date diff function. You won't get any screen tip for the date diff telling you the order of the arguments, but the order of the arguments is start date, comma, end date, comma, and then if you want to calculate the total number of months, you put M in quotation marks in your last argument. So there are 55 months between these two dates. That's 55 completed months. Now for years, you would also use date diff. Again, it would be the start date, comma, the end date. But in the last argument for years, you put a Y in speech marks, and that'll calculate the number of completed years between the two dates. Now, if you want this calculation, there are three years, seven months, and 19 days between these two dates. First of all, you'd calculate the number of years using that date diff function. So start date, comma, end date, comma, and Y in speech marks, close bracket. So there's four years, but the months, you can use date diff again. So start date, comma, end date, comma, but rather than using M, use YM in speech marks. So that tells me that there are four complete years plus seven months between these two dates. Now you can use date diff to calculate the number of days, remaining days between two dates. And you would do that by start, comma, end, comma, and then you'd put MD in speech marks. But Microsoft actually recommends that you don't do that as it will return the wrong answer in some scenarios. So this is what you can do instead. You can use eDate. Now what eDate does is return a date, a set number of months after a start date. So our start date is here. And the number of months we want to move on from that date is essentially this number here, 55 months. And we can use the date diff function to calculate that. So start date, comma, end date, comma, M in brackets. Doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. And then I close the bracket again for E date. Now it returns a number, which is the serial number for the date. So if I convert that to short date, what I can now do is subtract these two dates to get the remaining days in the date period. So that would be the end date minus the result of the eDate function. Format that with the general format. So there's 18 remaining days after the years and the months. Now you might also add one to that calculation to give me 19 days. The same reason as we added one up here. So if I made the start date the 22nd of the 12th, 2027, it should say that I've worked one day. Just undo that. Now, to achieve this, where 
all these calculations are in one cell with the words years, months, and days concatenated within them, you would do this. You type equals, then point at this cell where we've got the years calculation, then use ampersand. Ampersand will concatenate text values together or join them in quotation marks, space years, space quotation mark, ampersand. Then I'm going to refer to the month calculation in F7, ampersand, open quotation mark, space months, space speech marks, ampersand again. Then refer to the days calculation, the remaining days, ampersand, open speech mark, space days, close speech marks. So you can see I've got four years, seven months, and 19 days. Now, at the moment, this is dependent on these calculations, but what I can do is copy the years formula and paste it over that cell reference. Press enter. Then I can take the months calculation, copy that, paste it over that cell reference there to F7. And then the same for the days calculation. Copy that paste it over the G7 reference. So now I can get rid of these and this will still work. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.